graphic extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can use the blending modes and in particular difference with custom shapes to create unusual color effects. Now, I've already created a couple of applications of custom shapes, custom shapes from graphic extras, and just applying it, you can actually see the different colors that can be created just by changing the colors over here in the swatches, apply it in the custom shape tool and use the difference. So I'll just quickly show you again, just that. Right, so you can see the unusual color shapes you can just create. Well, at this point, I can actually just click change the color again, and I can apply it. So you can use this to create some really abstract, unusual color designs. But once you've done this, once I've got to this point, you can actually just go to the filter, and you can apply the oil paint, and you can actually sort of smear blur the effects in just by setting the cleanliness, stylization, and shine down. Right, click OK. Now you can apply it, of course, multiple times if you wish. Just apply that, and again, just to make it a bit brighter. Okay, so you've got this design. Now you can also use the blending modes and custom shapes in 32-bit channel, and that's creates also additional color options. So I'm just gonna set mode 32 bits, and now you can see that the difference mode is still available, and also the custom shape tool can now just be used, and I'm just gonna select the color over there, and apply the design, and you can see unusual. And one good thing about the custom shapes and the blending mode now in 32-bit, you don't see that ugly sort of line that you get with the 8-bit mode. You will see a little line around the edge of there. Anyway, so you haven't got that. So at this point again, you can uh, think, oh, go and use the filter. Unfortunately, you can't. There's some of the various tools that you just can't access. Well, just have to put it back to mode, 8-bit channel, click OK, and it's basically the same there, looking at that. And now you can go back to the oil paint and create again another sort of smear of the design. Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial of interest.